Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Call of the Wild, and it's good to see everybody. How's everybody going today? Good to see you, KD Hunter. Say hi to a couple people here first. Jack Bullman, William is a bandwagon. Let's go, Alpha. Good to see you, Alpha. Hunter Man, great to see you as well. Fred's Films, Gerald Smith, Smash the Trash, and uh, Luke Hardy. Good to see you guys. So good to see you so early on. Um, we did quite a bit of hunting yesterday where we were trying to take down a lot of mountain lions in the area And I'm hoping that now we can actually hunt for some muleys in a little bit more well a peaceful of a manner Of course Jack Bowman most definitely. What's up cowboy donut? That's a cool name by the way, man Henry outdoors great to see you Johnny McCarthy. I'm doing really good. Thanks for asking GG fresh. What is up? And hello Peter Hey, what's going on, Kill Clinton? Good to see you too, man. Awesome, Williamson. How's everything going, man? Good to see you. So, I just snuck over here, and there's a max weight uh, bighorn sheep. But he's, like, right there. <laughs> and, uh, I thought we took care of this problem already, guys. I really thought we took care of this problem. Is that... There's another one there, too. Never really got a look at that one, but I'm hoping that... Um, what do you think? <laughs> well, thank you for the uh, super chat already there. That's really cool of you, man. Fred's That's Films. Money. Thank you so much. Thank you for that. Uh, I like them both very much. Yeah, definitely. Flinter and Scarecrow are they're, uh, very good creators. So thank you for that. Okay. I really thought we took care of these guys, but, um... Apparently not. Anyways, uh, that kind of changes my plan. I'm hoping that the ram is still over there. I don't think he would have spooked from that, but you never know at this point. So I guess we'll just slide over real quick and see if we can find this big ram. <laughs> there was actually... Oh, that's him. That's not him. That's not him. But if he's there, then the big ram should be there. So that would be kind of cool. What's up? Hey, dude. Just got my first diamond. That's really cool, Thank man. You so Thank you much. Um... Christopher, hope you have a nice, wait, hope you get a nice diamond muley still waiting on the diamond kudu. Yeah, I really don't think that we're going to be able to get a diamond kudu for quite a while. I would say they're probably one of the most rare diamonds that you can get recently. And they used to not be like that, but all of a sudden they became a lot more rare, it seems like. Okay, so where's the max weight for if he's there? I think he might be a little more to the right. I really don't think that he would have taken off though. Especially because he is bigger. He should be like right there, but then again Yeah, very well could have spooked. All right, let's slide over a little bit Just to check and uh, Let's see Skidzy tries. Thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate that man. That is really awesome of you What's going on Edward new to the channel comment on the last video? Uh, yeah, I definitely remember Edward welcome to the channel and thank you for coming over here, man I appreciate that so right now, we're trying to find this uh, max weight ram, which I just saw him right here. But then the mountain lion called, and I'm really hoping it didn't spook him, but most likely it probably did. Because, yeah, he probably bolted. Just the fact that that ram spooked right there makes me think that he probably would have taken off over here. Man, <laughs> gotta love live, you know? Here I have a perfect plan to sneak up on a max weight ram in the beginning, and then <laughs> the mountain lion scared him away. Well, I'll show you his track, and maybe we can jump on his track and find him real quick. That will be kind of cool if we could do that. But that's his track right here. One of these should be... I think maybe this one? Brown. I do believe this should be... No, that's a female. So there actually might have been quite a few, uh, quite a few big horns here. Thank you for that, Henry. Good to see you, Chris. Uh, of course I do, Rise. Definitely. Just have fun. Good to see you, too. Well, there's a buck. So, at least we have him to start off, I guess. <laughs> Our max weight ram, I don't know where he went at this point. I 
Actually, I kind of have an idea of where he might have gone to. Maybe if we go over here, we might be able to see him out in this field here. What's going on, the Almighty One? Been here since you started Cabela's Big Game Hunter Pro Hunts. Uh, well, we found some more bighorns, but I don't see the, the big ram just yet. That's so cool, man. I appreciate you being here this whole time. There's a decent gobbler. Uh, not very heavy, but... Okay, where would he be? That buck's probably like right... Yeah, the bucks are right over there. Hello, Henry. Yeah, it's been the first... I found him! Found him. He's 400 yards away right there. And I think we hit too low. Um. Yeah, I was holding for like 350. I think we hit a little bit too low. Uh, yeah. Boy. What's going on, William? <laughs> Thank you, uh, Timothy. I appreciate that. Yeah, the muleys are hard to find lately. It's hard to find a decent muley buck around here. I don't understand what's going on, but I do know that they're a lot less common than they used to be. Which, it's not bad, but... I don't even think they exist at this point. So we totally messed up that shot. I forgot he was 400 and I just held for 350. Would have been a perfect shot, but that's uh, all right. Things happen. We'll have to come back maybe sometime and uh, and find that thing. But honestly, at this point, uh, that Model 9 really ruined my whole morning so far. So maybe we'll just change the time real quick and then this Ram should come back to life. <laughs> so yeah, we'll just do that. Because a flesh hit is not going to take him down with the 270, I don't think. I do believe, though, and also what I should check is maybe... Is the music a little bit too loud? I think it might be a little bit too loud. Put it like there. Okay. Vine Outdoors, you got your first diamond turkey. That's awesome. Congratulations on that. Josh Levitt, good to see you. Hayden Oliver, great to see you too, uh, Hayden. Man, there's so many names coming up. My favorite gun is probably the 30 odd six, but I most definitely prefer the bow. I need water. My throat feels like Africa up in here. <laughs> That's funny, Jake. So that ram actually should come back. Now I think about it. We saw him over there from 830 till 21. This ram should come back and we actually might get a second chance at him if we're lucky. If not, we're just going to go on and uh, find some muleys here. What's going on, Aaron? I have noticed that a lot of the animals are not returning to the zones that you find them at. So if you find a big buck and say, I don't know, you accidentally spook them and you try and change the time and come back to that spot, there's a good chance you're probably not going to see that buck again. And that's why it's been really difficult. That plus these mountain lions, and it's been almost impossible sometimes to be able to get some of these, uh, some big animals here. But that ram should be coming in over here. What's good, boo? Jason uh, Chamberlain, I got a Diamond Cape Buffalo at 2 a.m. last night. You know, that's usually the time that I find my Big Cape Buffalo too. 2 o'clock in the morning, 3 o'clock in the morning sometimes, where I just want to check one time just to be able to see, you know, what might be there. And that's exactly when I find the biggest Cape Buffalo diamonds. It usually seems like that. <laughs> of course, I have no energy at that point, and I just have to go with it. But yeah, typically that's usually what happens for me. There, that's probably what scared our big mountain lion away. Oh, hold up. We might be able to see our ram here. So if the three is there, then where would that four be? Got another buck over there. That's a rare turkey. <laughs> that's a rare turkey. Look at that. 
Uh, I think it's either like a light brown or something, but man, look at all the animals taken off. These are all spooking from that one mountain lion, I do believe. Yeah, right there. Actually, there's two mountain lions, one there and one there. We might as well try and take down this uh, rare turkey. She's about 350 out. This time, I know right where to aim. Okay, cool. So she's down. We got ourselves a rare female turkey. That was awesome. I didn't plan on that at all, but it's definitely going to look really cool in the trophy lodge. It helps to know the distance that they're actually at when you uh, take the shot. <laughs> or at least have a couple seconds. There we go. Second chance on our max weight ram out here. 400 yards away. This time, I know right where to aim. At least, hopefully. <laughs> wow. That was a hard shot. That was a 400 yard perfect hard shot with a 270 on the walk. I mean, he might have slowed down a little bit, but that was picture perfect right there. It really was. So much better. <laughs> what is going on? It's uh, M3 Shrek. Is this game worth it to buy? It's a lot of fun. It really is. And the thing about this game versus like the Hunter is there's so much action with this game and you know, there's so many different styles that you can play too. Where like the Hunter Classic, it's a great game, but you could easily get worn out from it because there's really only a certain way that you can play it and you have to hunt really seriously to play it. Here, you can hunt really seriously, you can just hunt for fun, or you know, you can kind of do like a mixture of both. But yeah, we definitely got him, Gerald. Appreciate that. Uh, what's going on, Mr. Tic Tac? Great to see you. That ram was up there. Yeah, we definitely smoked him. Definitely recommend uh, Smash to Trash. I agree with you, man. What's going on, Gararalus? Totally pronounced that one wrong, but that's okay. Earl Suggs, good to see you. All right, let's go over here and find out how big this ram's going to be. I think I had a minimum estimate of like 147 on him, pretty sure. But where might he be? Oh, wow. <laughs> I forgot he was so far out there. <laughs> He's literally not even on our hunter mate yet. He's that far away. So let's see. How's it going here? It's my favorite too, Jero. Definitely up there. Oh, that's so cool, Aaron. We are just talking about that. What's going on? A dog, bro? There, bees are ram. Wait, I thought I just saw him. Did I not see him? No, <laughs> we're still not even close to where he was. But there he is right there. There lays our ram. Max weight ram. He's got a real good curl on him. Potentially, we might get this thing mounted depending on just how big he's actually going to be. Yeah, right on the money. All right, well, let's pick him up. So that's our first shot. It didn't, uh, it didn't change it. For some reason, it didn't change it. I thought that, you know, it would have refreshed it, but either way, we still got a gold, so I guess we'll take it. And the second shot was just, uh, right lung at 411 yards. So beautiful shot, but, uh, yeah, we didn't get the heart. I thought we might've been a little bit high, but at 147, it's a huge ram, but just not quite as big as I thought he was going to be. Still an awesome shot though. And let's go grab the uh, turkey here. Hey, Silver Moon. How's your day, Ben? What's going on? It's ramen. White tail fever. I had pheasants on Hirschfeld and at least some hair. I played Hunter Classic for the first time and Call of the Wild just doesn't compare to Classic. Yeah, they're totally different games. You know, even like the developer said when it came out that it, as soon as Call of the Wild comes out, people are not going to stop playing Classic to play Call of the Wild. It's totally different. The vibe is completely different. It really is. One in 1,000 deer. What did you get there? Hey, Cheesecake. I'm so glad to see you tuning into the stream. I appreciate that. Yeah, it's been, uh, it's been about a month since our last stream. And so many of you guys are saying, oh, are you going to stream today? And I thought, well, yeah, we're definitely going to make that happen. The most rare in the game. Nice. YT Sprays, I appreciate that. Thank you. Hello, Jonathan. So what are we over here for now? Didn't we get like a rare turkey over here or something with the 270? Pretty sure we did. Now we just got to figure out where exactly she was. 
Oh my god, right on top of our tripod. Look at that. What a cool spot for her to go down. It would have been even cooler if it was a big old male, but that's really cool actually. We want to remove some of these tracks here. That's so cool. Wow. I mean, normally you have to pat down all the grass around it and stuff, but this thing ended up in a perfect position for a beautiful picture. And it's going to be a light brown. Ended up with the liver right lung at 382. Obviously, we use a 270. But either way, that's definitely going to the trophy lodge. Sweet. Okay. My plan is, I think we have enough time to 930. Uh, see, I thought that he would have been over there. There was like a 270s buck right over here, and I tried to get him a couple times, and then the mountain lions kept scaring him. So maybe, I don't know. We'll just go over here and check. The heck was that? Heard something. Can't see it though. I hit the target from 300 yards out. Bullseye. Nice shot, Jack. That's awesome, man. What's the most rare in the game? Um, a rare diamond. Uh, maybe like an albino diamond bighorn sheep. That could be pretty rare, I would say. How do you know if it's a diamond? Basically, it's going to be a max level for that particular animal. There's quite a few videos on that. Um, I, I'd say like Jaxi Beard has some of the really, really good videos on like how you know if it's going to be a diamond or not. Go check that out. Graphics. Have you gotten a diamond pie ball moose? No, I have not, but that sounds pretty rare to me. Okay, so we came here the other day and I don't think I even showed you guys, but there's a couple. There are some deer over there. Okay, so he might actually be here. If we already have all these deer here, then the biggest one very potentially could be here somewhere. Just a matter of trying to pick him out of all 15 of these mule deer here. But he might not be here. I don't know. Also, if we see any mountain lions, we're going to take them down with the 300. Obviously, if it's going to be big enough, then we'll just use the 270, but uh, I don't see him. There should be two five mediums over here. Not that they're going to be close to a diamond, but there's a decent three. I mean, it's the biggest buck in the area that I can see right now. So I suppose we'll try and take down. Oh, hold up. I definitely see something over here. And it kind of looked like I saw a rack. But I just want to check. To make sure that's not him. No, no, that's a doe. Okay. Well, in that case, I really don't have like a good broadside shot on any of these deer here. Yeah, sorry about that, Jack. It tends to happen. Not that great at multitasking, unfortunately. So, I guess we could try for a heart shot at 199 with the 270. I mean, it's really accurate. Potentially, we could make it happen. Did we hit the dirt in front of us or something? Like, oh my god, look at all the mule deer taking off. I figured we'd smoke that doe right in front of him. So I honestly don't even know if we hit one of those things. Because I think we hit the hill or something like that. Let's get a follow up in this guy. There, that'll take him down. Got a doe out there. Should take her down. The first shot though, looked like it was going right for the heart. And it didn't even hit that deer at all. I'm thinking that maybe we hit the dirt or something because that didn't make any sense. 199, we were prone on this hill and I'm pretty sure we probably hit the hill. <laughs> oh well. Because it's more realistic. Nice. The best way to shoot a diamond for soft points. Um, 
I rarely use soft points. Ever since polymer tips were available to me, I've never switched back. Polymer tips, pretty much, I always use. I was gonna donate, but I bought the tripod back. Oh, that's so cool, man. Glad to hear that. Lambertus, I appreciate that. Thank you. White Tail Fever, why don't you play Medved Taiga anymore? I would say Medved Taiga is probably one of the most boring maps because it's so hard to see. It's really, really thick, and the only place to hunt are like the open. Is that? Yeah, that's a gobbler there. Okay, there's our buck. Better put a follow up into him. But like here. Definitely got him that time. Here, I would say, you know what else? We do have a little special treat here. Which I only use for live streams. Just so you know. Oh my god, what the heck was that? Oh, we're only zeroed in for 109. No wonder why. I thought we were zeroed in for 160. So, are we zeroed in for 80? No, 160. Oh, that's why. Okay. There goes the doe that we must have hit. And that actually... I think that's going to be the buck that I wanted in the beginning. You should turn back. Smoke. Okay. What is going on? Am I shooting blanks out of this thing or what? What the heck? Oh my, I'm not even crouched. I'm literally standing up right now and held it right on his front shoulder. We're zeroed in for 160 and that was like 180. I mean, I guess we could have shot low if it was 300. It didn't look 300, did it? Wow. A buck's definitely a hit. Still, that should have been a hit. It didn't even look like it hit that thing. Give me a shot now. Wow. We are not doing too pretty with this. <laughs> I literally felt the hurt from that shot. To uh, totally. So did I. I don't even know like what to expect from that. Even if it was 300, it should have definitely hit something, but it hit nothing. Well, we got quite a few deer down over here. It looks like the zone is completely gone. <laughs> I don't even know what was happening. This is so strange. Jonas Largett hunting right now. What are you hunting for, Jonas? Good luck, by the way. So we should probably turn some tracks on here because looks like we got like four or five animals down. There's blood there. What is that from now? Vital organ hit. Okay. Yeah, I'm really not too concerned that we messed up the zone here because ever since uh, the mountain lion moved in, all the big bucks kind of left the area anyway, so... I guess if we clear out the zone, maybe some new ones will come back in eventually. So, let me see this. That was a shot after when he was running away. That makes sense. I let it a little bit too much. And then we got Hart at 244. See, that one makes sense. Uh, here's the turkey that we got. Almost forgot about this one, actually. 282 and a 4.30 gold. Ah, Ben. But this one here is a uh, doe. Well, that's an interesting spot for her to go down. Look at that. I've never seen a doe or even a deer go down like that. Have you seen that before? <laughs> that is so interesting. So we must have made either like a spinal cord or a heart shot. You know what? This is a pretty rare occasion here. So I think we'll take a picture of it just because like I said, this doesn't really happen very often. I've never seen this happen before. It almost looks like she's bugged out, but the fact is we actually, we got her, so she's, she's not moving. <laughs> um, where'd we hit her? Anyways, she just ended up going down like that, right lung at 218. And she even ran 200, 234 yards with the right lung. But the way that she went down, I don't even know how to explain that. So, I really want to find out where we hit that one buck. 
which should be over here somewhere. Let's see, where would that have been? Oh, he hit him over here. Water right low. I think this might be from him. Just want to check. Yeah, that should be from our buck. Did he... Vital hit here. So which way did he go? Did he... Was he running that way? Okay. Vital organ hit, and then he ran this way. There's some more blood here. Blood rate low. How does it go unless, like... It's an old track? 50% low. But maybe he ran this way, huh? 25%. Strange things have been happening here lately. Oh, that's so cool. Samuel, congratulations on your dad's 10-point buck. Wow. It's a diamond. Nice. Yeah, that's how the bears used to go down, huh? Anyways, here's our buck. Finally, after so long. 372 and... That's only one hit. We only hit him one time. So where's the other hit that we took when he was standing at like 280? I was holding for right here. He stopped perfectly. If anything, it should have dropped and hit the front leg or the heart or something. It hit nothing. That was the strangest thing. I don't even know what to say about that. <sighs> Beats me. Uh, Wait, if I delete the zones, can I get the pressure back? The zones will eventually come back as long as you find new animals in that area. Fresh tracks here. I had a zone over here with like 15 deer. I'm not kidding, 15 of them. And I thought for sure one of them would have been the big buck that I was telling you guys about. But I actually never saw that big buck. So then... I'm wondering if he already passed or I guess like even if he did come through that would be a quick tough shot if he did come through there that's a whole different herd over there and I don't really know like where they're gonna go but I know they go this way or so this way somewhere and uh, I would like to figure out where they go at least so I could try and find that big buck so at least we can get him to come back for a respawn or something you know Yeah, they gotta go this way somewhere. I'm really curious to find out as to where, though. Hello, Plant Nugget. Bruce Bear, good to see you. So, if you reset your population zones, get fixed. There's a chance that that could help, yes. See, where would they go? They go this way. And then, like, there's tracks here. I know there's definitely a decent buck in this herd. But there should be a massive buck somewhere, too. Bighorn sheep up there. And a gobbler. Oh, a couple gobblers, actually. Hold up, we got a lot of gobblers over there. Wow. Three gobblers. 300 yards away. I don't think we could hit him that far with a 22. I mean, we could, but that's pushing it just a bit. So here's all the tracks here. Just want to track down these muleys here and see. Hey, Nathan, thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. What are you guys hunting for? Now 250, 250 could work. Maybe we'll try and take down a couple of these gobblers here at 250. Since we have the 22, stays there in for 160 this time. Yeah, why? Oh, 300, okay. I gotta remember that if there's an animal that's gonna be 
Um, under 200, we have to zero in for 160 with the 22. So we're looking at two, what did I say, 260? 260? Hey, Lucky, great to see you. 240, actually. So we'll definitely hold high. Yeah, I figured that would hit low. Got him, though. Come on. I think we hit him. Definitely got two of them. Ah, oh, we did get him. Look, he piled up right there. Just to double check. Yeah, he's down. Sweet, we got all three of them. I don't want to lose sight of uh, these mule deer either, though. Thank you, diamond hunters. What is up, Matthew? How have you been? It's been a while. It's been a little while. Definitely got a gobbler down there. I think we actually did get a max weight uh, ram over here not too long ago. Oh... Flinner's biggest fan ever. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, that's where we hit that one. I saw him flying this way. Let's see. Uh, I wish we could mark it, because now... I don't really know like where that gobbler was down. I definitely saw him piled up over here, but I can't figure out where it was. Whoa, what did we jump up? Are those our muleys? They are. Those are our muleys that I was looking for. So we'll have to go over there in a little bit and find out where they've been bedding. But I never would have guessed that they were up there. Oh, how am I going to find that turkey? Grass is way too thick here to be able to find them. I mean, I guess what we could do... Got to turn this music down a little bit. Okay. I guess what we could do is go over and find his track and then track him down. But yeah, it's really tough to see him in here. The 300 Magnum? Yeah, as soon as we start finding some mountain lions, we'll bust out the 300 Magnum, don't worry. So right now we're going to grab, there should be two turkeys down here. Definitely one here. 4.20 gold. And you know what? Maybe that actually is the same one. Hen, hen. Big horn track. Uh, oh, right here. So yeah, we'll have to track down this turkey to be able to find it. Oh, it went this way. There's no way we would have found this turkey without having tracks on. I'm still a little bit flabbergasted at the fact that we couldn't hit that one buck standing there at 280. Like, it didn't even touch that buck. Anyways, here's a turkey at 253 and a 3.9. So this is probably the other gobbler track. No, that's a hen. Yeah, I want to go over here and check uh, over there where these muleys might be bedding down. Because there potentially could be a giant over here that I've never even seen before. 
See the big horn are betting there. This is what I like about this map is you can go to different areas that aren't just near the water. You know, you can explore and while you're exploring, you can still find cool animals. Medved Taiga, if you're not on a lake, good luck finding an animal. And not only that, I think one of my Diamond Rocky Mountain Elk came from up on top of that ridge there too. So I know big elk and big muleys live up there too. There's also a max weight muley I saw up there once too. Hey Lucas, what's up? Everything's smooth. Slash, what's going on? Should I hunt turkeys with birdshot or buckshot? You should definitely use birdshot. It takes a while, diamond hunters. Don't worry, it takes a while. That's a hen. So where's that spot? Bighorn sheep, okay. I would imagine they should have... What do mule deer do right now, actually? I gotta find out. Do they feed right now? 10.30. Okay, yeah. There should be a mule deer feeding zone down here somewhere. That's bighorn. Bighorn. And bighorn. Where is the mule deer track? I saw him over here. There's a mule deer track. Finally. And another mule deer track. Hey Ryan, loving your vids. You're such an amazing person. I appreciate that, Ryan. Thank you so much. Favorite gun in real life. Mayor, my favorite gun in real life is probably my 12 gauge Benelli. Hey Blake. I bet that they probably feed up here somewhere. Cause I know they feed there. Bighorn sheep. And a max weight gobbler that we never got a chance to see. Wonder where this thing came from. Maybe we'll try and uh, jump this guy up. Also, not be zeroed in for 300 would be good. I think he's going up that hill. I don't really want to go up that hill. Another turkey track. Hey, Namus. First time in this stream. Welcome. What's going on, Jonathan? Wasn't. Oh, that's cool. What is up? I appreciate that, Lucky. Um, you probably got in a timeout because you were saying the same, the same thing over and over. That potentially could have put you in a timeout. Nope, own map. The reason I'm on my own map is because we just took down a bunch of, uh... Heck was that? I'm pretty sure that was a mountain goat. Was it not? Yep, it was. Okay. Um, we took down a bunch of mountain lions, so that way we could come back here and hunt in peace. On multiplayer, we would have to deal with a bunch of uh, mountain lions, so I wanted to see what it was like. Playing COD? Oh, that's cool. Uh, 
Hey, we found one of them. Now, where is she going to? I didn't even know that mule deer were over there. I've never seen one there before. There's definitely a doe over there. One lone doe. Oh, decent ram out there. 400 yards. Let's try and not hit this rock this time. Don't lose him, don't lose him. Where'd he go? Oh, I think I lost him. Where did he go? See, that's what happens sometimes. If you don't get on them right away, they're gone. Just like that one. Yeah, he's gone. Okay, let's uh, try and find some muleys now. I have a 350 legend. Oh, very cool. Nothing over there. We definitely hunted this spot out quite a bit. It's empty. <laughs> all right. What's up there? Probably a monster buck for all I know. Ooh. Some animals. Small ones, but. Just a couple small ones. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go do some more mule deer hunting now. What's up, Aaron? First time seeing a live stream football, and this is great Sunday so far. Sounds awesome, man. That's so cool. Yeah, I usually like to wait about four minutes before I go to the next spot. Should probably put my hunting mask on. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Maybe a little too soon, but still really, really funny. So they're right here drinking. They should be there. Actually, we know where they bed. We might be able to cut them across. Uh, if I can jump up here real quick. Come on, don't do that. It always happens to me. Yes. Okay. Should be able to catch them as they're cutting across this road here. I never thought of that, but... They should cross right here. Or maybe not. Maybe they're already there. What's going on, Blur? There they are. One's already there. Well, where's the rest of them? One doe, huh? Look at her, sneaking right past. There, I see another one there. Two does. Where is the buck? Hey! 
Hey, Bryson. There's a buck. See, I figured they were going to cross the road. Just took a little while. I don't really know if that's the biggest buck. I feel like there's one a little bit bigger. But at this point, we shouldn't be too picky, I don't think. So where'd he go? There. Yeah, we'll try and get on him. A small opening right here. Actually, that's not really a shot. Yeah, it's a... Uh, it's not really a shot. <laughs> oh, look at that turkey crossing the road here. Nice little hen, 100 yards out. I've never done this before. Just basically sitting on top of this roof here, kind of watching the animals come from their bedding zone to their drinking zone. And it actually works pretty good. I mean, we could easily put a tree stand up here somewhere and then really be able to see good, but yeah, see they're down there drinking already. They're down there drinking. Um, but what we could do is go run over there real quick and uh, just bust out the 270 or a 300 for that matter and just try and get a couple on the run maybe they're probably gonna cross the road over here to the right side right where they came from so we'll kind of keep an eye out that way and watch for them to uh bust out that way just want to turn these off so they don't interfere with our hunt here so try and keep an eye out for them to uh, cut over. Or they might go that way. I don't know. Oh, there they go. There they go. There's a buck. Oh, smoked him. Oh, there's a big buck. Big buck over here. I think this is actually the one that I was looking for from before. You should cross this opening. If we can get there in time. Oh, heart is, is beating really fast here. Don't go right up that hill. Oh man, if I would have known that, I would have kept on running. See, they're going straight up the hill. There's the buck. Oh, I had a shot, had a shot, just couldn't quite pull it off. Two bucks actually. Okay, we might just like hang tight here and wait for him to come back. Or at least stop and give us a shot. That's definitely a buck there. I don't know if it's... Ooh, that's the one we wanted to get. Yeah, didn't get the biggest one. But we... Pretty sure... What the heck? You're gonna tell me... Oh yeah, he went down. Okay, good. But that first one we hit, I thought we hit really good. Big male. Oh, he's a decent one. I wouldn't say he's that big, but... Coming back? Okay. Two does are coming back. Uh, It should be like a five medium, actually. Thing is, there was two five mediums. Well, there was three five mediums. Two, like, 250 bucks, and then there was one 270 buck. And, uh, since the mountain lions came, I haven't seen any of the fives. They've all, like, disappeared. Doe over there. So maybe we're not gonna crap. We're not gonna go prone this time, because I think that's kind of messing us up. Don't have a lot of time. Okay. 
Don't really have too much time to waste here. Nathan, got a bighorn sheep today. Congratulations, that's awesome. So, this is the buck track, I think, right here. Doe. Doe. Oh! What was that? Oh! Lots of does. Just wanted to make sure he wasn't over here. Chilling. I don't see him. Any spots on Silver Ridge Peaks? Um, I like to hunt kind of in the middle of the map the best. Hello, Suzanne from Germany. I appreciate you watching all the way from Germany. That's really cool. Okay. That's not really a good sign, but I believe it should take him down. Wonder what we hit. 25%. Uh, maybe liver or intestine I guess cut back this way wish they had a mule deer great one that would be something wouldn't it oh actually look at how good we can see from up here I might put a tent up here I think that the mealies they bed right over there Right over, there's the bighorn. So the muley's probably bed right over here. And then they cross. But we can see really good. Oh, here's our buck. We did get a right lung. Ah, we hit that shoulder. Perfect shot though. And one of the smallest bucks probably. <laughs> That's all right. Ten o'clock. We got a little bit of time, so maybe we could go here real quick. Yeah. Hello from South Africa. That's not a bad bull. We came over here a couple days ago. Well, actually, it was yesterday. And look, there's a mule deer drinking in peace. No mountain lions in sight. Not one. I remember taking down, I think, like four mountain lions last time I was here. But that's a solid bull. Maybe we'll try and take down the bull first with the 300 Magnum. Which will be this one. Should have been good. Might have hit a little bit low and forward, but... I can't tell if he went down. Yeah, he went down. Hello from New Finland. You got it with the 270. Very cool. Erica Laughlin. I appreciate that. Thank you. Hello, Derek LeMay. So, since this is the only buck here... Actually, where'd he go? He might have spooked from that shot with a 300. I didn't think he would spook, but I guess he did, because I don't see him. Anyways, there's our bull down right there. Double lung at 191. Actually, that was a smoke shot right there. 348 bull. Not a bad gold. Uh, silver. What? What? How is that? I guess it's like the... Well, that's why. One side is a little bit bigger than the other side, but... 351. So close to a gold, I guess. I never would have guessed that that would be a silver. Huh. 
All right, well, that buck seems to be not here anymore, apparently. They drink here till 10.30, so we have a little bit of time to go here. Wow, everyone's saying where they're from now. Hello from Canada. Thank you so much, John Ward. There's a muley. That's definitely not a muley. They should be back here. Hey, Keaton Plays, how have you been? Good to see you again. Well, they should be here. There's one, one doe. Sometimes they're hard to see in all this thick brush here. Oh, there's a buck. What was that? Another buck. Where is he heading to now? All right, let's just take down this buck here at 300. Uh, first shot was my bad. But the second one should be at least the liver. Yeah. Boy, it'd be nice to find some decent bucks here. I have one spot where I took down a max weight muley like three days ago, and it seems to me that it takes about three or four days for the respawns to come back. I would say at least that's kind of what happens on my maps. Hey, Spencer. I've been good. Nice seeing you streaming. Oh, I'm glad to hear that, Keaton. 22 versus Grizzly. Not a very good idea. Maybe a cool idea for making a video. Oh, they're eating already? What is there, a separate herd? These guys are supposed to drink until 10 o'clock. Wait, until 10.30. Why are they eating over there already at way early? Oh, another buck. There is a whole herd of mule deer over there that I never saw before. And that looks like a buck. Oh, of course I can't see it. Just give me a little better view. It's a three, okay. The same one I saw? Yeah, I think. Two level threes. Man, it's so hard to see. There they are. Nothing bigger though? Well, let's just go over here and check. I 
I got the great one with the 270. That's nice. What was that like? Bow hunting in North Carolina. What's up, Samuel? Got my first egg white and second or third diamond gray wolf this week. Very cool. So there's probably just going to be like three level threes over here, but there could be a huge four that we just can't see until we get over here. So I really want to check. Drake Glenn, love the vids. Keep it up. I appreciate that, Drake. Thank you. Oh, a heart shot too. Very cool. All right, time to run. Come on, big buck, where are you at? That's not a big buck, but it's max weight turkey. <sighs> not exactly what I was hoping for, but If I miss one more shot with this thing, I'm going to start using the 300 Magnum. I don't understand why I can't hit anything with this. Blood here. What is that now? That's a bear. And a turkey. Smoke that bear. And miss the turkey. All right, let's find this buck. Oh, you like that? Well, where is my med kit? There we go. Hey, EH19, good to see you. What's going on? Liver shot. Yeah, I figured that was liver. That was my bad. I already knew that though. But what happened with the other buck? I guess, uh, oh no, he did go down. Okay. Just took a little while, huh? You know what I'm thinking that maybe because we're getting a single lung, it's not taking him down that fast because we are using the 270. Makes a little more sense, I suppose. What's up exposing? Is your rating right? Oh, you mean range? Oh, ranging. Uh, yeah, 160. That's all. I always keep it on lucky. 300 that turkey? I was thinking about it. Or you know what? This is from the black bear. Chemical hunter got an eight mythical melanistic mountain lion. Whew, that's a rare animal. Very cool. I got one of those too, and they look really cool in the trophy lodge. Some blood here. Blood right low. And vital hit. So he must have ran back at us. You know what? I think we might switch over to the 30 odd 6 because it just has a lot more knockdown power. Much as I like using the 270, I think we'll stick with the 30 odd 6 for streams because, yeah. Unlucky is right, Lucky. Oh, we got some more deer calling back over there. See, we're right on the money. Perfect shot again, but we're just barely getting the penetration. That would have been, 30 odd 6, that would have been a hard shot right there. 257 that would have been a uh, single lung top of the heart right there but yeah we need we need some more power definitely need some more power what do we have here till 10 o'clock let's go back first uh, and change the time probably now uh, 7 mil is a little bit OP for me just for me I mean, 30 odd 6 is up there already but Okay, no more 270. 
And hopefully... Oh, I figured that would happen. Well, what can we remove? Well, 270 for a start. And these things. You know, I kind of stopped using the longbow. I was going after a nine potential planes bison the other day, and it didn't end up very well. I had a huge bison less than 40 yards away, and yeah, I don't think I'll be using the longbow for a while, especially on a diamond. But anyways, let's grab the 30 odd six shells here. And hopefully that'll work. Close, but not quite. Guess we'll get rid of the elk collar and the deer collar for now. And that'll work. And if we have to, we could always grab the deer collar. Yes, we could. Okay, cool. All right. Oh, I was going to change the time. I forgot to. So I'm thinking that there might be a whole separate herd of muleys that come here at eight o'clock in the morning or nine o'clock in the morning that we've got to see just the fact that they're already feeding um at like 10 15 that means they were done drinking by 10 o'clock so there must be a whole nother zone here that we never saw before what's going on one arm good to see you Best map for diamonds. Hmm. I mean, it's honestly, it's all about your luck. I've been just crushing it on Africa lately with all kinds of random diamonds that I'm not even looking for, including two diamond lions that I was trying to find a diamond kudu and I've yet to find one. <laughs> People say this map's good for diamonds, but Honestly, it took me quite a while to get my first diamond on this map besides turkey. I got diamond turkeys Like two or three of them right away Diamond Rocky Mountain Elk took me a long time to get one long long time But since it's a little bit early here I got a little bit of time this spot here is good at Nine o'clock Where? This spot. This spot here. This is actually a spot where I used to have a zone and then I forgot mule deer still come here. Archer Addict. Hello from Canada. Yeah, Addict. Uh, that's so cool. I appreciate that. Alright, gotta go. I should be hunting. Yeah, you should. Sounds good, Lucky. Good luck. I appreciate that, Bryson. See you later, Graydon. And uh, if I missed your comment, it's not because I did it on purpose. It's because it's hard to keep up. Lots of bison in this spot. Lots of bison. couple right there actually pronghorn yeah I don't remember if the muleys come here at 9 o'clock or 9 30 in the morning what's up that backpack glitch is where you buy and put on a large backpack and everything in your inventory. Yeah, but the thing is it makes tons of noise. Yep. You get spooked. Animals get spooked really, really easy. It's super hard to hunt with a backpack on. Oh my god, it's so hard. Hello, Lindsay Wilcox. Hello, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Uh, the 338 Rangemaster. I really don't like that rifle. We were talking the other day and I wish there was a way that you could sell all of your weapons that you don't use anymore. And one of them for me would be the 338. The number number two would be the two, no, not the two seven, the seven millimeter, and the 223. I hardly use those at all, and I would really like to get back the money. Not only that, the 470 that costs tons of money. It would be so cool to be able to sell that thing too, and 
get money back, but you can't sell anything. But who's to say that someday you might be able to? What was that? It's gonna run into us, whatever it is. Okay, it's a bison. Not really too worried about that. There's some pronghorn. There's a decent one, a max weight pronghorn at least. 140 out. Now there should be some muleys over there. Uh, you know, I'm thinking that maybe the muleys come here at 9.30 now that I think about it. Because it looks like just the bison are there now. Can I not cross here? Like, why can I see the bottom and not cross it? Run! Seems like we can cross. It's gonna take a long time though, maybe. Maybe we shouldn't do that. Favorite diamond, um... Probably my 1000 diamond muley. No, 126 isn't max, but it's uh, it's, it's up there. Gonna go grab something to eat. Sounds good, Keaton. Tage, you got your first diamond mountain lion. Congratulations, that's awesome. Garrett Otten taking my- that's money, thank you so much. Hey, I appreciate that, Dallas Packer. Wait for it. That's really cool, thank you, Dallas. Uh, you're taking your hunter safety, that's awesome. Good job with that. Why don't you like the 7mm? Best gun, it's because I think it's a little bit OP in, in my opinion is all. But a lot of people like it. And that sucker's really loud. Really loud. Yeah, mule deer drink here at 9.30. Thank you for that. It's a little bit early, huh? Yeah. But, mule deer drink here at 9. Guess we'll just have to come back here in a little bit and check. How do you access photos taken in the game? Wait, hold on. Where are we? Here. Okay. Um, if you go into Steam, it's actually really complicated. Uh, you got to go into settings. Then you got to go into profile. Then you can click on manage pictures, I think it is. It's not that easy to figure out. It took me a while, actually. But then once you figure it out once... Hey, Muley Doe bedded there. That's a... Now that is a max weight pronghorn. 126 to 143. Okay. But then again, why is this Mule Deer resting here when it should be drinking? So she must drink somewhere else. Because 9 o'clock, Mule Deer should be drinking here. We're definitely going to take down... That max weight pronghorn. Wait, not that one. The one in the front. But I also want to double check. Oh, not trying to run just yet. I want to double check to see there should be some muleys drinking right now. But I don't see any. There's probably some back there that we just can't quite see. But anyways, let's take down this max weight pronghorn here. That's the right one, yeah. 150. Did I not equip the 30 odd six? No, I have it. All right. Much better. Wait a second. Since when did the 30 on 6 not just absolutely annihilate Pronghorn? Give me a shot. Oh, that was my bad. Got him that time though. Should have got liver. Look at them all take off. 
That's a lot of pronghorn. I would have thought that even if you touch the lung, it would just pile them right up. But maybe because we hit the shoulder blade? I don't know. I appreciate that information, Tyler. He's showing you how to uh, find your screenshots. Click on Call of the Wild, but don't launch it. Then scroll down and you can see your screenshots. Nice. Recommend the M1. I love the M1. I used it a lot. It was my favorite rifle for quite a while. But that whole like ching got in my ear and it really started bothering me after a while. So that's why I haven't used the M1 ever since. Yeah. It's still a great rifle. Really great rifle. If you use it once in a while, perfect. So vital organ hit. But where do we hit it? Really? The shoulder blade is going to stop a 30 odd 6 at 150? Yeah, you would think that it would just go straight through double lung, liver, and intestine. But I mean, a 90 gold, that's a, that's a solid pronghorn there. I can't believe that it didn't just blow right through. All more tips and everything. Had my grandpa's M1 from the Korean War. That's pretty awesome, Austin. So this one got right lung. Wow. Barely any penetration, even with the 30 odd six here. But 84 gold. Yeah, I know the ping is pretty cool. But when you use it pretty much like every single day for a while, then you'll know kind of what I'm talking about. And not only that, when you use it, plus then when you edit videos with it and you still hear it, <laughs> so it's like you're hearing it two, three times a day, basically. Not just the one time that you're hunting with it. You're hearing it every single time you're editing the videos and while you're hunting it and while you're streaming. So that is just my opinion. Okay, now that we have some more time here, I just wanted to swing by here quick and check if there's any deer over here feeding or drinking, I, I guess I should say. When are you doing a wolf hunt? That's a good question, Gary. Hmm. Are you talking like... What is that map? Uh, Quattro Cleanus wolf hunt or... Smoked him. Thank you so much for becoming a member. Hey, Samuel Gilmore. I appreciate that. Thank you for becoming a sponsor. That's awesome. Have a great one. Got a decent ram out there. No, it's actually supposed to say member, but for some reason my um, animation says sponsor, which I don't know why it says that. I appreciate that, Samuel. Thank you so much, man. I see that, Samuel. Very cool. There is a mountain lion, which we will definitely smoke in just one second if... Uh... Ah, there's one of the muleys that we saw from before. So he's out there drinking already. 9.30. Another muley there. 350. Where'd that mountain lion go? There. 300 magnum time. Kaboom. Yep. That's all she wrote. Alright, so... I don't think that would have really spooked any... Oh, definitely spooked that gobbler. Yeah, I really don't see any other muleys here that... I thought might have been here besides that one. Uh, very, very small buck over there. Got it with the 270, very cool. Uh, we're on single player. Imagine a great one mule deer. Yeah, that would be something else. bit high there, huh? Okay, let's go here real quick. Let 
My brother want to say hi? Well, hello to your brother, Bryson. Black powder gun is super fun. Yeah, the muzzleloader is pretty, pretty awesome in this game. There's a couple of big horns. Got a gobbler up there. Look at that. Um, I do quite a few buffalo hunts actually. Okay, buffalo hunts. Ooh, that's a sweet looking buck. I could tell he was big from a long ways away. And another really cool looking buck. Well, that's definitely the biggest one that we've seen in a long, long time. 193. Now, this buck here must be a new spawn. So he's going to score about like 40 or 50 points more than that. Why is he leaving though? He should stop over there, right? Okay, 340. Yeah, he stopped. Ah, uh, but he's at a bad angle. That would be so tough to be able to thread one in there. He's some bull back there. Could probably take this buck here at 350 first. Let's not hit the rock this time. Look how wide that buck is. So we're going to take this buck first at 350. Oh, I thought he was going to turn. Really? Come on, turn, turn. Oh, I can't take that shot. That's all right. We should be able to get up here and get another shot at him. <laughs> Great one hunt. Nah, that would drive me pretty crazy. That's not the buck. That is... There he is, 330 this time. Ooh, smoked. Whew. 30 at 6 is quite loud too, but even the M1 is even louder. What do we have over here now? There's a buck, level 3. Doe. No. Level 3. I think we'll take down this one at 260. There, finally got a heart shot. Jeez, it's been way too long since we've made a heart shot in this game. But at least we got ourselves some max weight buck hit finally. Should be like a two. 58 or something like that. Hey, Gavin. Hello to you, too. Albino bison with a longbow at 165. Uh, that wasn't a longbow. That was actually... Well, there's two of them. I got an albino. No, it was actually a leucistic bino with a longbow at 55 yards off of a rooftop. That's with a longbow. And then I got an albino gold bison at 165 with a compound bow. So yeah, they're both really cool videos though. I agree with you. All right, should have plenty enough time to go pick up these bucks and go to another spot. You're robbed, yeah. So let's find that first buck here. There he is, piled up right there, as a matter of fact. And there's the other buck. So, this is our biggest buck. We'll grab this one first. That's money. Thank you Actually, so much. Actually, is this? Yeah, that's, uh... High. Left lung at 340. I held high that time, though. This is our big buck. Dallas, I appreciate that. Thank you so much for another super chat. And 336 yard double lung shot. So that time we did get penetration and hit right above the heart there. 
blew right through that shoulder blade. It looks like we just nicked the front of it, but 257 gold and another really good buck. That's a max weight. He potentially could come back as a six. That's what's cool. Or I guess uh, he could come back as either a five or a six. Okay. Uh, haven't been here in a while, but I don't know if they stopped drinking. Yeah, 10 o'clock. I know. What do we have here? 10.30. They drink till 10.30 here. What's cool about this spot, though, is we can sneak over to the edge, and we might be able to get a shot at a buck from, let's just say, a pretty good distance. Thank you, Smash. Uh, I don't I haven't heard anything about that Alex and man people are losing their turkey decoys. That's not cool What's going on Brody? How have you been? So if we go over to this point here We should be able to look down there and yes, we can. Whoa. Why are you leaving buck? Don't be leaving just yet. Oh Actually this buck is What the heck? They shouldn't be leaving yet. Those are not very special. Ooh, that's actually probably the biggest buck that we can see here so far. So that doe's down there drinking. But all these guys are like, we're getting the heck out of here. 144. It's probably the biggest buck that we can see. And 430 yards. Ooh, I felt good about that. We had to hold forward and not too high because we're really high up the hill. Mmm, I knew we messed that up. Oh, it's a long ways. I think we got two into him, though. If not, we'll be able to put a follow-up into him. Oh, that sucker started walking right when we took the shot. Just throwing lead out there. 400 yards out. Deer don't even know what's happening. Now that's a big buck. Where'd he come from? That should be a five. Popped out of render distance. That was a huge buck. Should be either a four or a five. There goes the doe. Just want to try that one more time and see if we can't get a better hit on this doe at least. See, that seems like that's... What? Why are we hitting high? 400 yards away, we should be holding high. That's 440 yards. And I'm not even holding high and we're hitting a her. So I'm thinking maybe that first one we hit it in the vertebrae. Uh, not looking too good from here, but maybe when we get closer, might be some hunting pressure over there. You lost all your geese decoys. Oh man. Oh, all right. Hopefully we hit something. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Hunting pressure. Awesome. Honestly, all I care about is that we hit that big buck in the end pretty good, and I think we did. I think we hit him pretty good. Actually, that might be a track from him right here. Or is that the doe? 308. Uh, that could be from him. Yep, it's from him. And uh, that's not bad. Butter rate low, but I mean, we only tracked him for maybe like 40 yards or something, and we already got butter rate low. So we had to have literally ran right past this buck. Definitely didn't get a vital hit, so. We'll have to accept that, but did he cut back this way now? Yep, he did. 
Wonder where we hit. I swear, if we hit the vertebrae again, I'm gonna be kind of upset. Thank you, Heather. That's really cool. So this buck literally just circled right back around. Got a bear out there. There's our buck. And went right back to the same spot that he was when we took the shot. But I want to find out how big he is, though. He looked really big. Is that even the right buck? 438. This is not the right buck. This is the first buck that we shot on the walk. And I told you we had the stupid vertebrae. Man, we would have smoked him. Had a perfect lead on him. If we would have held normal and didn't hold for 400, we would have hit right here. And it would have been an awesome shot. Then I wonder, yeah, we did hit a follow up into that at 479 yards. We hit it one more time running through the woods there. So note to self, when you're up, oh, I don't know, 500 yards up in the air, you don't have to hold high, not even at all. Just hold pretty much right on. Anyways, yes, that's what I'm talking about. That's a vital hit. And that is the big old buck that we wanted to find. Look at that. That is awesome. Nice vital hit right there. So if I could get the track. There we go. Where'd he run off to now? Uh, More blood here. Whoa, we're getting... No, why are we getting bad uh, connection? What the heck happened? Not cool. Uh, can you please do Fishing Planet? I will definitely continue, um, continue Fishing Planet, Tyler. Don't worry. So, how big do you guys think this buck's gonna be? There he is piled up right there and he went down in a cool spot. I'm gonna say that this buck should be a five medium and it should score Whoa! Um, that's a beautiful buck. It should score 242 or like 250s. That's an awesome buck right there. Yeah, that's a really, really great buck. Carson Partney, hello, I'm a big fan. Only been watching for five months, but your videos are the best. That is so cool, Carson. Thank you so much. I appreciate that super chat, and I'm really glad to hear that you like the videos. Another cool spot for this buck to go down too. Kind of want to take a picture of him. That's money. Thank you so much. Yeah, that's going to look really cool like that. So the doe went down in a cool spot and now we have a buck going down in a cool spot as well. That's awesome. I really like this rack on this buck. But I think he can only get up to a gold anyways. All right, let's pick him up and find out just how good we did. We caught the left lung, and that is my farthest shot I've ever made in the history of Call of the Wild. Ever. Right there. 497 yard left lung vertebrae shot on that buck. And he scores 244. So he was only a level 3. But 244 is what I thought he was going to score. 240s. 200 or 497 yard and we just barely i mean barely nicked the lung on that with a 30 odd six that is incredible if we would have held any higher i don't even think we would have hit the lung we would have went just flesh any lower we would have hit just uh vertebrae i don't even know if we could have hit spinal cord at 497 yards but that is one incredible shot and my farthest shot ever right there that's crazy I never would have expected him to be that far. I was just holding for like 450 and uh, I saw him running away like this and we held for, well, I held for like here, maybe here. And he was running and the bullet drop kept going and got him right there. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty sweet, huh? I appreciate that, Heather, thank you. Thank you, Bulls. Bulsa. Good afternoon, YBK. Hunt Silver Ridge Peaks and smoked a dime potential mountain lion, but it glitched out and I couldn't pick him up. Oh, it happens sometimes. It really does. Okay, we have to get him mounted because this is a very memorable moment right here. Wow. 
All right. Thank you, Pamela. Carson, I appreciate that. It was a good buck, too. Thank you, Austin. That was a long ways. And the best part was, it was on the run, too. Well, I guess you could call it on the trot, because he wasn't running wide open or anything like that, but... 497 yards on the trot. We'll just we'll just go with that. So that ended up uh, pretty successful in that spot there. Now I kind of wanted to go check out this spot here, but I don't think we have time. Always running low on time. Every single time I check, running low on time. We only took down one mountain line. Hey, Michael, how have you been, man? Good to see you, Michael. I think we'll go to nine o'clock in the morning. Actually, no, we need to do uh, 9.20 so I can check out that one spot. What's up, Paulo? On the game, the buck go out of render at 450. Usually, yeah, I've never really been able to take a shot past 450. I think 400 like 58 or something was my farthest ever for a long time and that was on uh, I think like a, a kudu or something like that out on Africa with I believe like the 270 or something like that but yeah well, that was kind of creepy <laughs> the music just stopped and then it came back on recovering well bro how are you doing oh that's awesome to hear Michael I've been really, really well last uh, probably like six or eight months now. Fantastic. Gerald Smith, I've watched your channel for two years. It's a long time, Gerald, and I appreciate you for that. Thank you. The higher you are, the longer the render. Yep, that's true. Ian Robertson, how have you been, man? I've been fantastic. Thank you for asking. Good to see you, Tyler. All right, so we should have plenty of time now to go to the spot that I wanted to check out. Um, this spot. So many spots, it's hard to, hard to choose one. Where was that spot? Here. Okay, yeah, we'll just swing wide to the left real quick and go down there and check and then go to the next spot. Should I get the geese back? Hmm, I mean, I love goose hunting, but the geese have been broken for quite a while now. So I really wouldn't recommend getting the geese back right now. It's a lot of money. It's all in-game money, but... Hey, Brandon Dawn, good to see you, man. What is up? Just doing a little bit of hunting on Silver Ridge here. It's been a hot minute since we had our last stream, so I'm glad to be back. No, it's a blast when they're not broken. But when they're broken, it just... You can sit out there for 20, 30 minutes. Here's an example. When I made my video where I hunted every single animal in Call of the Wild with the 470 Nitro Express, I sat out there for about one hour real time. Not consistently, but off and on. In order to get one shot at a goose because they were broken. <laughs> I mean, it took so long just for a flock of geese to come in and then not only that finally it did come in and uh i think i got lucky enough to be able to get a good hit on the first shot but <sighs> very frustrating hey earl welcome back i wonder if the mule deer bed over here cool spot if they would wanna Bison. So what's interesting about this spot is I used to have a tent here, but then uh, the zone kind of disappeared. So eventually I moved the tent. I mean, the tent was like 250 yards away from the zone, so there's really no interference it should have had with the zone, but apparently it did because I removed the tent and maybe like three weeks later, I came back here just randomly and there was mule deer here. So yeah, I'm glad that they're back finally, but 
I really don't know like why they were gone for so long. Of course, now we're probably not going to see them, but they should be here. Welcome back, one-armed. Um, currently, I do not have the 470 Nitro Express. That was on my old account, which uh, ended up disappearing over the years. Okay, Mule Deer, where are you at? This is actually a really good spot for Bison. What's up, Henry? I do not have a great one. Nope. I hunted for him for quite a while. Started going crazy, and then I, th I said, uh, nope, no more. I'm done. See, I like to play and have fun. And after a while, it's not fun if you just keep on trying to hunt a certain animal and never ever see one. Yeah. They didn't come back, apparently. Yeah, there should have been mule deer there. But they're not there. Hey, Blaze the Hunter, how have you been? Not too much. Nice, peaceful, relaxing hunt. Oh, cool dilute buck and a level three there. Like to be able to take down all three of these bucks so we can get some decent respawns here. Be cool to get a level five dilute, I think, but or at least like a level six, I guess. So 230. Ah, I couldn't get a shot off on that one. I thought I saw an even bigger buck, didn't I? Oh, they always disappear. But we got a couple. There's the dilute down there. Thank you, Tanner. That's the buck that I wanted. Level three. Let's take him down. Did we get the heart? Finally, another heart shot. Been streaming for an hour and 45 minutes and we've only made two heart shots this entire time. <laughs> and I think they're actually both with the 30 odd six. We decided to put away the 270 because we just weren't getting penetration with it. What's up, Cloud Viper? Oh yeah, that does happen for me too. The key is you don't want to put your tent in a spot where you can barely set it up. Like it goes from red to white. And if it does that, then you're in a spot where it's a little bit too risky to be able to set up a tent. 
Okay, this is where we hit that other buck. Non-vital hit. So that'll take him down. And our dilute is right over here. And that's the buck that we heart shot. I've been having a big, a lot of trouble with uh, 204 silver, but yeah, perfect heart shot. Um, I've been having a lot of trouble with my tree stands disappearing lately, actually. I notice if I keep them more than about 50 yards or so from a tent, then there's a good chance that they don't disappear. But if I keep them closer, cool looking buck. And see that almost should have hit the heart too. It's like it barely, barely made it there. Wow. What is this track? That's a turkey. And there's the turkey right there. And we have the 22. Oh, it knew we were talking about it. And it's gone. Oh, well. Three hundred Magnum? Oh yeah, it's definitely worth getting. The three hundred Magnum is amazing for getting money and apparently clearing out mountain lions out of the area too. <laughs> Had quite success with it. No mule deer here, huh? Where haven't we been? Here. Yeah. No, the turkey got lucky. The turkey definitely got lucky and he escaped. Rocky Mountain Elk. Hey, hello. We are not gonna pass him up. Definitely not going to pass him up, but first, just want to check here real quick. Oh, we got another one there, huh? Well, I guess we'll take that one down too. <laughs> got that one. Let's see if this one's still over here. Can't see it. There it is. A little farther out there. It's a seven, but it's actually a small weight seven, so. Ah, wrong rifle. Dang it. Still made an awesome shot, but I wanted to use a 300 Magnum. <laughs> That's all right. Got it. So that's kind of cool. Three hundred is loud, very loud. I agree with you. But the three hundred has tons of power, and I would not give up that power. Seven millimeter on moose. It's not that powerful. Now three hundred on moose. It's pretty powerful. I figured there'd be a buck in there. Just one, though. There's a hard shot. That's what I'm talking about. Where's there another buck? Only one. That is so cool, a uh, dude hunter. I'm hunting real, wait, I'm hunting right now in my tree stand. 
Oh, I thought you said uh, I'm hunting in real life right now on my tree stand, but that's really cool. Honestly, I can't say that I've ever watched YouTube videos while I'm hunting before. I mean, I'll look at my phone and like scroll the internet and stuff like that, but we never had AirPods when I was younger either, so double lung heart shot. I don't have any diamond caribous in any of my lodges right now. My old account, I had, I think, four of them. But since then, you know, that reminds me, I gotta get a diamond caribou. And the same thing with a diamond grizzly bear eventually. So there was another buck here. Just a matter of where he went. What's up, Graydon? Anything happened? Uh, took down a couple of mountain lions and a small mealy buck. It is kind of nice to hunt in peace, though. We haven't had one mountain lion. Well, I shouldn't say that. Literally, the very first spot we went this morning in this stream, a mountain lion came and scared away our max weight bighorn sheep within the first, like, 20 seconds of it started. But ever since then, we haven't had any interruptions with bighorn sheep whatsoever. I mean, uh, mountain lions whatsoever. That's a good question, Henry. Is the 338 better than the 300 Magnum? Three, the 300 Magnum is definitely better than the 338, I would say. You get way more ammunition. Oh. No, what was that? It was a mule deer. Ah, they're over there. All those, but... It has, I would say, just as much knockdown power as the 338 does. You get a really fast reload time and you get more um, ammunition in your magazine. Where'd they go? Use the 3032 kill a pronghorn. It's worth a try. One thing I do need to do though is actually use the bow and get a diamond pronghorn with that. I haven't done that yet. Is that a bear? Yeah, it's a bear. Five medium, but wrong species. I forgot I had this. Ooh. I should take him down. Good spot for rams. This is actually a pretty good spot. Also, Bighorn Outpost is a good spot. What is that? Well, whatever it was. It's probably not going to go very far. <laughs> I think it was a doe. Um, intestine, pelvis, and pelvis. There's our mountain lion down there. And where 
is our dough that we just got with the 300 magnum double lung three actually 37.20 is not a bad size one uh i don't actually see oh right here wow that dough ran quite a ways with a 300 magnum hit what are medium must have gotten tested probably what's up lt what's the best rifle in the game um i would say 30 odd six and the 300 magnum that combination is pretty lethal for anything but the cool part is once you get the 300 magnum you can use it and take down anything in the game to just take it down and clear herds and do some really good management with it So there must be a spot up here where the mule deer bed and I kind of want to hunt this area up here. Go there after. In real life the 300 magnum is more flat shooting than the 30 odd 6. Interesting. Never would have guessed that. 300 magnum is pretty flat shooting though. Must have turned the tracks off. No, I didn't. There's something. Or something too. Small ram. Nothing over there. Lindsay Wilcox just got a gold cape buffalo right now. Very cool. Congratulations on that. There's a couple of muleys. Tiny buck over there. I'm actually really happy that we got that max weight buck before. Because like I said, I really don't have very many big bucks on my map. And that's one of the biggest ones that I, I've seen in a while. Well, we got that one yesterday, that 360 I think it was. It was actually a cool score, 360 exactly for a Truac Muley. That's a really cool score. What do we have over there? We're gonna have to do something about that. Yes, we are. Although I don't want to ruin the hunting pressure. Oh, there's no hunting pressure here, okay. You should have seen it yesterday. Yesterday, this whole area was like purple. Two of them, look. Yeah, that's what they do. Scare everything around, dumb things. Where are you at? One out there at the 300 and 300. Okay. So 300 on the walk. Oh, the second one was absolutely smoked. The first one, I think we had a little bit low depending on how far he was, but. How far was that first one? 300, 330, no, that should have hit. I should have hit like for sure intestine or front front shoulder or something. There, see that? Now the mule deer can drink in peace. We did a good deed. All right, let's go over and go get them. It's a long ways over there, but wow, we gotta go all the way around. Oh, 
all the way around. What's up, Caden Robinson? Good to see you. All right, Gerald, have a good one. I didn't even think about it. Flinter is streaming today, huh? When did he start? Hmm. Is he... What is he on Twitch or something? No. Hey, Jaden. He's a mod. Who is? What is Austin's name? Oh, yeah. Austin is a mod. Yep. Well, look what happens when we move. This big guy comes out. That's a... Uh, now that should be a goal potential bull right there. Let's take him down, since we have a tent over there anyways. <laughs> ah, I knew that was gonna happen, we shot right through the tripod. <laughs> and the second shot, hopefully... Did absolutely nothing. Well... <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Not too much Bequas, not too much. 3030 is number one. It's a cool rifle. Especially the fact that you like it. That's really cool that you like the 3030. Because it's kind of a challenging rifle. Whoa, this is not happening. <sighs> I thought we took care of this problem. That's a tough, tough angle though. 350? We'll use a 30 odd 6 on this one. Mmm, bet we hit high. Uh, we got him. Yeah, <laughs> he just piled up right there. Where's that bull? Out there somewhere. What's up? I didn't get a high. Uh, hello, Nathaniel. Sorry, I missed you there. Double long shot at 300 on that one. And here's the second one piled up over here. Uh, I don't think it's a gray. I think it's just a common mythical. And 333. We did it actually a little bit forward on that. Let it just a little bit too much. But the 300 Magnum definitely takes them down pretty quick. I wonder if that bull went down. There's a bull. And a ram. Small buck. Let's go grab that mountain lion. Finally got the 470. That's very cool, Jacob. I'm sure you'll have a lot of fun with that thing. Are you kidding me? What is this? 
Oh my god, look at how many mountain lions are here. They're stacked in there. We just took down a mythical there, and now there's like four more mountain lions just... Oh. It's like an infestation of them. Look at that. Five mountain lions all right there. Oh. They just drive me crazy. There's so many of them. They're about 300 out. We're going to use a 300 Magnum on these ones. All five of them. Uh, you need the Yukon DLC. Ah, oh, we're zeroed in for 160. Forgot to zero in for 300. My bad. Did we get any though? It's not looking too promising. Let's just say that. Let's keep an eye out. There's a couple running over there. Well, he was running. <laughs> Come on, where's the rest of them? Man, that was a major fail. Five of them there and we hit one. What is that now? Elk. Looks like we got three, so maybe we did get the other one too. Just hit it probably a little bit low. Let's see, one, two. Should be three down here. I'm thinking this will be. Yeah, that's when we just got 290 vertebrae. That should be the mythical. This here should be. Uh, oh, that's the mythical. Right lung at 356, and it was a dark red, 37.7. Not a bad one. So then this one here is one that we got with the 300 magnum. I really want to eliminate that whole zone if I get a chance to. 314. Oh, that was not a pretty shot, but at least we hit it. Hit in the tail at 300 yards. I think that that bull actually went down. Yeah, that bull. That bull went down. Really don't feel like tracking him though. Ram out there. Let's go. Oh, you know what I haven't done in a while? Is this spot here. What's going on, Cameron? Nothing really cool, no. We're just mainly... There's elk here? I haven't heard elk here in a while. Oh, behind us. Oh, up there. Right now, we're mainly just uh, trying to enjoy a nice, peaceful... That's definitely a respawn. Looks like almost the exact same buck that we got a couple days ago. Max weight muley at 350. And ram. Good black bear out there. We 
We did do something really cool though. We had a, a gold muley at 395 yards. I think, yeah, that was what the two, uh, 30 on six. Okay, so 320. I think in this case, we'll take a shot with the 22. That's not the 22. Take a shot with the 22 to get him to turn. You should hear that, wouldn't you think? Oh, he heard it. He heard it. What the heck was that? My guns are broken. My guns are broken. That's all I can say. Sucker did like a 360 before the bullet even got halfway there. <laughs> 300, I was holding for the spine for 160. I don't know. I don't even know if that's going to take him down. Yep. I mean, I want to get him no matter what, because then a respawn will come back, but... Wow. Hey, Samuel, welcome back. Just take down this black bear here. 360. There, that should take him down. We need to follow up into this buck. Because he's not going to go down. I think we only hit him once. Yeah, the 270, normally I have really good luck with the 270, but today I just can't. I don't know what's going on. There's something going on, though. The bear went down. Look it. Didn't even hit the thing. <laughs> Running tracks. We did hit it here. No organs hit. Even the second shot when it was standing there. I don't know. What time does he come? 10.30 in the morning. Till 14, so 11 o'clock. I don't even know if we change the time, then I think he's still... Well, whatever, at this point, I don't even care how many times we hit this thing. I just want to, I want to be able to get it down. Uh, you're missing some absolutely embarrassing moments with the rifle. And it's not me. I'm just doing the same thing I always do. Normally it works really good and for some reason, like, I'm having horrible luck with shots connecting today. <laughs> Absolutely horrible. The one thing I could say, though, is that buck knew we were there and he was starting to turn. You know, maybe, like, as we took the shot, he might have moved. But to be able to dodge a 30-odd 6 at 200 yards, I don't know. guess it could be possible. So that's a zone there, 10.30 till 14. 
First, we're going to go over here. The bear will still be there. We're going to go grab the bear real quick. Pronghorn tracks. Now, I held pretty high on this bear. But the bear was further. The mule deer was only like 290. Definitely no diamonds today. Nope. I'm doing really good, Malene. Thank you. Or Mylene. Welcome back, Earl. find the bear because unless he loop back around there's not gonna be any tracks so three hundred fifty oh there's the tracks right there It's not really from a bear. Mm. More bison. Oh, that's pretty crazy. You saw a car wreck right in front of you? There. <laughs> Look at He's at 25%. So if we hit him now, it's going to mess up everything. But I don't even care. I just want to double check one thing. So now he's 340. I didn't see him run away, did you? Where'd he go? Huh. There he is. That's what I thought, Muley. Yeah, I really want to get this thing to come back as hopefully something bigger. Because this is the only max weight buck that I have in this area that I've seen quite some time now. Kimberly Sabo, I've watched your My Life video. What'd you think of that, Kimberly? Have a good day too, Outdoor. Yeah, that's so crazy, Samuel. Yeah, multiplayer can definitely help you out on that. Smoked. It's gonna say three hits though. Actually, no. Cause where we first saw him, there was no blood, it just said running. And then it said no organs hit, but that was after he was running for a ways. So, he's probably only hit once. Maybe like in the hind quarter or something. Lower, like, stomach area, but not stomach because it would have said non-vital hit. Thank you for that, Jessica. Sounds good, Beekwaz. Anyways, here is our buck, 244. And the first shot, actually technically that was like the third shot because the first and second shot didn't even touch him. And then this shot, I let him too much. And then right now we just made a double lung at 344. Perfect shot. And a gold buck. So yeah, 
I think that's going to be a good way to end this stream. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And until then, we'll see you guys next time. Thank you.